The first trailer for the Jesse Eisenberg and Jason Siegel film, The End of the Tour, has hit the web. Based on true events, The End of the Tour tells the story of the five-day interview between Rolling Stone reporter and novelist David Lipsky Eisenberg and acclaimed novelist David Foster Wallace Siegel, which took place right after the 1996 publication of Wallace's groundbreaking epic novel, Infinite Jest. As the days go on, a tenuous yet intense relationship seems to develop between journalist and subject. Dennis Barristel, the first trailer for the end of the tour i buy it it looks interesting it doesn't the one thing i like about it too is it doesn't give the entire movie away you see kind of the flavor of it uh we've seen jesse eisenberg in in serious roles we haven't seen jason siegel uh i've watched i watched how i met your mother and he actually had like one rare dramatic scene right. in, in the series and he actually did a good job with it so i believe that he can do well in this one um i, I also like the opening line of, of the trailer about how uh, uh jesse eisenberg's character thinks that oh this guy's life is the life that i want and that's always kind of the case when people see people on tv or in movies or just you know famous people they're like oh I want to be, I wish if my life was just like theirs, it'd be perfect, right? right. But like this guy, he, he slowly realized, no, his life isn't perfect and he's not a perfect person. So what do you think, Christian? I buy it. And I, I you've, we've seen him do, Jason Siegel do some dramatic with uh, Jeff Lives at Home. Okay, and then even in, even in that silly movie, what was the one he did with Emily Blunt? That was uh, oh, a five-year uh, engagement. Five-year engagement. Yeah. That movie, even though it was geared as a comedy, for the most part, there's a lot of dramatic. He was dramatic moments. in he it. He was yeah. dramatic in it. Now, But this seems like a different role that we haven't seen him do before because he's not, well, in the trailer anyway, which is what I liked, he wasn't over the top. He seemed real. I bought him in that wig, mm -hmm. uh, all that stuff. And who knows? It might as well have been him actually grow his hair out. But I think the, the casting of the back and forth with him and Eisenberg already in that trailer was working for me and it had a, a mixture of like almost famous meets eternal sunshine and spotless mind from the way that it was filmed uh and the music and i don't it's it, i was actually really excited after i watched it i said this looks like something i really want to see and mostly to be honest because of jason siegel to see what he can do in a role like that mark yeah he looks not like jason siegel did in sex tape which means i'm gonna buy it yeah. because it, i think this guy has so much talent and i want to see a more dramatic side of what he can do i was watching this trailer i was like the first 30 seconds i'm like this feels like an rem song then rem comes on <laughs> for the rest of the trailer and it's perfect i mean it, it seems like they knocked this tone out of the park like you said christian it's like a more stripped down almost famous where you have somebody and he really looks up to someone else when they actually get to meet what happens when your ideals of fame when you get close enough to them do they all come crashing down it's it's perfect it's so right for jesse eisenberg and i think jason siegel at least from this trailer it looks like he can match wits with him dramatically the trailer you're right it doesn't give away too much i'm more interested in this from when i read the synopsis so it was a perfect trailer let's see the movie and i think james ponsult is directing it the guy who did a spectacular now which I've, i haven't oh, seen wow. but i heard it was I really love good. spectacular now that's great so if he was able to pull those performances out of miles teller and um what's the diver shailene, shailene woodley yeah. then i think he could do it with, yeah with i agree too. with you